Yes, it shall. Good morning to you and happy weekend. I believe that you are good. We are sharing truth this morning on how to handle spiritual information. And that's coming from the entire sixth chapter of First Samuel. You are warmly welcome to the Really Really Knowing God channel. I am Pastor Larry Adeneko. Channel is packed to inform as well as inspire you into the real knowledge of the very real God that we serve, powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Age Inspiration, the BLACE. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of Jesus. Now, if you want to know God enough to be able to filter the mishmash we have around, this is your default channel. And we are praying, Father God, we bless you and give you glory and, and praise. Thank you for your help to also God here. Um, that help has been ready, steady. We are grateful. We receive now again by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay then. Um, first Samuel the sixth chapter. Now the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months, and the Philistines called for the priest and diviners, saying, What shall we do with the ark of the Lord? Tell us how we should send it to its place. So they said, If you send away the ark of God to the ark of the God of Israel, do not send it empty, but by all means return it to him with a trespass offering. Then you will be healed, and it will be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then they said, What is the trespass offering which I return to you? They said, Five golden tumors and five golden rats, according to the number of the lots of the Philistines. For the same plague was on all was on all of you and all your lots. Therefore you shall make the images of your tumors and images of your rats that ravage the land and you shall give the glory to God of Israel. Perhaps he will lighten his hands from you and from your gods and from your land. Why then do you harden your hearts as Egyptians and Pharaoh harden their hearts when they did when he did mighty things among them? Did you not let them go that they might depart now therefore make a new cart? Take two milk cows which have never been yoked. Hitch the cows to the cart and take the cows home away from them. Then the ark of the Lord set it upon the cart and put the articles of good which you are returning to him as a trespass offering in a chest by its side and send it away and let it go. And watch if it goes up to the road to his own territory to Beth Shemesh then he had done us this great evil. But if not we shall know that it is not his hand that, that struck us it just happened to us by chance. Then the men did so. They took two milk cows and hit them to the cart and shut up their cows at home. And uh, they set the ark of the Lord on the cart and the chest with the gold rats and images of their tumors. And when the cows headed straight for the road to Beth Shemesh, went along the highway, lowing as they went, they did not turn aside to the right nor to the left. And the Lord of Philistines went after them to the border of Beth Shemesh. Now the people of Beth Shemesh were reaping uh, their wheat harvest in the valley. And they lifted their eyes and saw the ark and rejoiced to see it. Then the ark came into the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh. And uh, it stood there, and a large stone was there. So they split the wood of the cart and offered the cows as a burnt offering to the Lord. And the Levites took down the ark of the Lord and the chest that was with it, in which were the articles of gold, and put them on the large stone. And when the men of Beth Shemesh offered burnt offering and sacrifices the same day to the Lord, so it was that the followers of the Philistines had seen it, they returned to Ekron the same day. These are the golden tumors which uh, the Philistines returned as trespass offering to the Lord one for Ashdod, one for Gaza, one for Ashkelon, one for Gad, one for Ekron. And the golden rats, according to the number of all the cities of the Philistines, belong to the five lords, both fortified cities and country villages, even as far as the large stone of Abel, on which they set the ark of the Lord, which this which stone remains to this day in the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh. Then he struck the men of Beth Shemesh because they had looked into the ark of the Lord, struck 50,070 70 men of the people, and the people lamented because the Lord had struck the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before this holy Lord God? To whom shall it and to whom shall he go up from us? So they sent messenger to the inhabitants of Kaja Jearim, saying, The Philistines are brought by the ark of the Lord. Come down and take it up unto you. Okay, um, <clears throat> so that's the whole of chapter 6. And I think it's a long read already. So let's not go into 7, even though the, the thing just flows into uh, the next one. For now, let's just leave it so and quickly uh, see what we can squeeze out of all of this. Okay, then. So they had issues, a lot of issues. They had uh, these tumors, you know, on their bodies and rats were also ravaging their their place their homes their farms their everything so they went to their diviners uh, to ask okay what are we supposed to do with this ark of uh, of uh, the god of israel so the diviners answer them what to do send it away but don't send it empty send it with a trespass offering and then you'll be healed and you know you know why signs and all that now what do we learn from this one these were diviners they were not people of god 
there were people who operated by familiar spirits there were people who operated through demons and they saw correctly they were able to give correct spiritual advice to those people therefore uh, we learn something even some people who are operating by the powers of satan they can see things they can they they can uh, bring spiritual advice okay the fact that they are able to do that does not mean that they are of god it says these were diviners of the five lords of the philistines they came together and they began to give proper advice they even mentioned trespass offering okay they, because they operate by spirit i mean uh, what do you call it familiar spirits familiar spirits are spirits familiar with you or with that other person uh, in reference okay and they are able to give you information concerning that person these were diviners they were they were not people of god at all they were not priests of god or agents of god or ministers of god at all yet they were able to get that spiritual information and then and all the things that we have read, you know, uh, earlier on. So we should say to ourselves, the fact that some people are going to come up with lying wonders, particularly in this time and age. Jesus already prophesied. He said, at that point, there will be false prophets who will prophesy in my name. There will be even false Christ who will say they are Christ. Okay, that does not mean that they are true prophets. That does not mean that they are Christ. That's what uh, Christ did. He prophesied all that before and, you know, uh, all that happened. So those people gave specific instructions as to what to be done. Uh, with this whole thing and they, 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 you know they followed it they got the the milk cows they got the um uh, the golden uh whatever uh, what do you call it now um in, okay uh, tumors the golden rats and all those things you know and these people were able to see somehow into the spirit and they were able to process that information and give these people good advice even though they were not the servants of God at all. So those people carried out all the things they said. And then um, the act, you know, they even said, if it goes this way, then you know that it was the Lord fighting us. If it doesn't go that way, then you know that uh, this thing happened to us. By chance, it's not the Lord or God of Israel. And it happened in a way that they said it would happen. It would go to show that it was the Lord God of Israel. So they knew that it was the God of Israel that was fighting with them. So that whole thing happened. They went to a particular place. And the Bible says in verse 15, the Levites took down the ark of the Lord. Now, like I was saying, it's not anybody that could touch the ark. It's the Levites that ought to touch the ark. But when God had turned away his face from it, it became ordinary. Anybody could touch it. Even non-believers were able to touch it. Okay? And, you know, but this one, when he came back to Israel, the Levites were the ones who brought it down. That was the proper thing. And they offered make sacrifices and this and that and all the rest of it. Okay? But then, the men, the people of that area, they played, they, they, thought, they thought they were smart. That, oh, this thing we have always ha- heard about the Ark of the Covenant and the things inside it, but nobody has ever seen those things inside it. We're going to, you know, um, take a, a, a sneak peek or something like that and see what is inside. So they did. The Bible says many of them died on account of, uh, of what they did. And then they now said, oh, no, who's going to be uh, able to stand before this Holy God? Now, Holy Lord God, if you knew that he was the Holy Lord God, why were you trying to practice what was not right? Why were you trying to play games around? So, you don't play games around with God. The Bible says, talks about, uh, um, it is a terrible thing, a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Yeah, that's what it says. So, be careful the things we do, especially uh, when you, you know that this is what God has said. It's Levites that can touch it. And even those Levites that can carry, they don't even look into it. The things that God has said, be careful about it. So, to summarize this whole thing, spiritual information okay at times you get that spiritual information from the wrong source it is still spiritual information and you need to, you have to be careful the way you handle it knowing where it is coming from have you noticed that at times some demons will say oh jesus the son of god what are, what are you going to do with, when, with us and he will say keep quiet he did not want the people to have confidence in what the demons were saying because the spiritual information even though it's coming from the wrong source the day that source is going to add a lie you may take it everything together and take it hook you know swallow it hook line and sinker it's not supposed to be like that okay and then the word of god the things that god has said it's also spiritual information so how to handle spiritual information is so very very important um number one the source of it paul was the one Abi, yeah paul was the one who wrote and said to timothy know the things you have learned and from whom you have learned them yeah the source of the information is very very important look at this source of information somebody comes to you and calls himself some prophet or whatever be careful what that what you do with what the person says oh he may supply correct spiritual information he may tell you your whole life story does not mean that he is from god and it is important for us to have that understanding and to know and then the things god has said do this and don't do this 
process it properly for your own sake at the end of the day. Thank you very much for sharing time with us this fine uh, weekend. Trust you are going to have it a wonderful one still. In Jesus' mighty name. Bye-bye.